All right, what's up game artists? Lucas here. I'm gonna show you guys how I did the uh, roof shingles for my caravan. Um, this is what the tiles are gonna end up looking like. If you want a pretty simple shingle that you can pretty much customize however you want, make them taller if you want, make them wider. Um, it's pretty all around versatile. You can make changes as you need um, and apply it to whatever shape you're using. Um, I just have a simple, uh, like, dome shape, I guess. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with, but you can customize it to whatever shape you're using. Um, so first, we're going to take all the faces that are on the top here. And uh, we're going to duplicate these so that you get your own shape for where you can make the shingles. Um, so edit mesh, uh, duplicate the history and shift p um and then we're gonna take that object that we just made of those faces and extrude it up a little bit and i'm actually gonna turn on this thingy um yeah so we'll extrude that up a bit um you can change that height to whatever you want later on um it's pretty easy um and then we can hide this first object so this is what we're going to be turning into our shingles. Like I said, you can change the height of these later if you want. Um, for now, we're going to start with taking these edge loops around here. Um, and these are going to be the edges of our tiles. So the way I did this roof is that these tiles come from the center and go down. Um, you can also make them going other directions if you want using the same method. Just kind of rotate it. Um, so we're going to bevel this with chamfer off um, and you're going to want to make it a pretty small fraction just so you have like a little bit of room in there um, you can adjust it later you can have more segments if you want but if we're doing low poly um, I'd say keep it pretty I'd say keeping it to one is good and you can have more detail on the high poly um, so yeah we'll go with about 0 0.08 for the fraction and then you're going to take all these edges that go through the middle of that bevel that you just made on the top surface here. And do that for all of them. Select all of these. And then what we're going to do is just take the move tool and move those all down a little bit. And you can adjust them individually. So like these ones down here have a bit of a, a different angle than what I like. So I'm going to get rid of these guys. Get rid of these and adjust um, these two parts individually. I'm going to scale them in a little bit. A little bit, please. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do it one side at a time because it's being funky. Um, so we're just going to move it to the side. And down a little bit more because I want a little more depth there. And then, yeah, same thing over here. Move it in. Move down. There we go. Okay. So that gives us the, the base of our shingles. Um... And next thing we want to do is have some division between them all going the other way. So, similar process. Take these edges here. And we're going to bevel them. I actually think... We might want to take the whole edge loop. Let me see. Yeah. So we're going to take these whole edge loops... So you'll have some extra faces underneath, um, or some extra edges underneath, but you can delete those when you clean up your mesh. Um, same thing, pretty small fraction. You can make this one different if you want, if you want to have more space between your tiles. Um, I liked the distance to be pretty small, so we'll go with that. And then, uh, same thing, you select these top edges here. And we're just going to drag them down again. Just move those down slightly so you get a little bit of 
get a little bit of height there between the tiles. Um, and now comes the fun part. So once you have this kind of like grid going on here with depth to it, um, you're going to want to take the front edges of these tiles that you've made. Um, and now you can move them around and play with them. Um, so if I want my tiles to have a very like, if I want them to go forward a lot, you can make them go forward a little bit. And you can also, you know, like have some of them be higher than others. Give it sort of an off a cool offset look, however you want. Um, team here, bring these up a little bit and bring them forward. Bring this one up, uh, bring that one up. So these ones are not really low. That'll make it look very uh, kind of old, I guess. And then take these ones, bring them up. Bring them forward. It's a little too high. You just want to make sure that this, um, that these edges don't end up overlapping each other because you're going to get some, yeah, you're going to get funky stuff going on here. So what I'm going to do to fix that is just move that forward a bit. Move it up again a little bit like that. Um, you can also play with the edge of the next set of tiles. If you want to have it be more like slopey or anything, you can adjust that. And these bottom edges, I want to bring these out pretty far because I want to have it like, yeah, kind of going down an angle like that. And adjust them however. Yeah, so now we've got these kind of slopey tiles. Um, and you would do the same thing on the other side. Um, I could just mirror this. If you want to keep it the same. Uh, da, 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 da. Like that. Yeah, then you have the same thing on both sides, but um, I'd say it's good to have some variation. You can always then go in and make some of these different than they are on the other side to add some variation to that. Break it up. Um, and then the last little bit for that is I added, um, added a taller part in the middle just by dropping in some edge loops. So I did about 20% on each side. Um, and then you just want to take those faces that you've made and extrude those up as much as you want. You can scale them in a little bit, add some cool angles in there. And then take the faces on the front and extrude those forward. Same thing. And what I did here, just to make it look a little nicer, is take these edges and move them forward just to round it out a bit. Um, you can bevel these edges as much as you want. You can drag these bits up. You could even, like, you could even extrude those faces that are in there um, if you want that detail to go up instead of down. So you could take, oops, you could take these, on each side, extrude those, bring them up, and then you'll just want to take uh, the edge that you have in there, or the vertices, whichever one, and make sure that they're looking nice. I'm going to take these vertices and scale them out. Move them up. Something like that. It's a little funky. So, just mess with it. Make, it, make sure it looks clean. Um, you can add other edge loops in there if you want. Uh, more ways to add detail to it. Scale out to the side, etc. Um, yeah. I liked keeping it indented there, but you can do whatever you want. You could also just, yeah, uh, you could drag those faces up if you want, but it'll get funky in there. Um, so yeah, that's my little tutorial um, on how to do the shingles. Uh, when it comes to different shapes, it'll get a little harder, but you just want to like keep that same technique in mind of raising the edges of your tile, moving them forward, keeping in mind you don't go over this um, these edges in here. 
and yeah, uh, if you want nicer shapes, you can um, bevel the edges of all of these, make it a little cleaner. And yeah, hope this helped some of y'all. Bye-bye.